Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here I'm taking a look at the ASUS Flip 12. Now, what I like about this one is the fact that it's running an Intel Pentium processor with 16 gigabytes of RAM, which means that it is on the more budget, you know, kind of range. Since it does have this kind of two-stage hinge here, so what we're looking at here is the hinges move here, and then once it hits 180, it flips around, and this hinge here starts working, and then we have it in good old notebook mode. This is 11.6 inches, which is why they call it the Flip 12. It is a 1080p display. We have a uh, 128 gig PCIe SSD under the hood, which is pretty pretty nice. And I think I misspoke. I think it's only eight gigabytes of RAM, but you guys can correct me in the comments and let everybody know if it's eight or 16. Now, what I do like about this is when we close this up, we have a very nice profile at around 16 millimeters. Now this is a fingerprint sensor. So we have Windows Hello, full size USB port right there, which means that, that the blue means that it's a uh, fast type three volume rocker right here uh, yeah that's a little bit wobbly not a big fan of that and then the power button is a little more recessed in if we keep on walking around the system nothing but a little lip to help it open and then around the other side we have a micro SD card slot which is very nice type C connector full-size uh, USB 3 full-size HDMI which is pretty nice but having said that uh, getting a Pentium processor to push out to a large display, I wouldn't want to go more than 1080. Don't we really, really be doing 4K because, well, honestly, the Pentium is just not good enough for that. And then we have the PSU. But what I do have to say about this is, oh, the hinge feels really good. Now, if we take a look at the keyboard, let me turn, let me turn this on. There's the power button there on the side. Well, it looks like I broke it. It's not waking up from sleep, but we can look at the keyboard uh, regardless. So, very sturdy build quality. No bounce at all on the keyboard. One of the first from ASUS that doesn't have that. I don't believe that there is back backlighting on this, but then we have a nice big trackpad here that has um, the downward clicking, so it doesn't click at the top, but it does click there at the bottom. I'm not a big fan of that setup uh, for durability reasons. Uh, one other thing that is noteworthy is that if we take a look at this side of the keyboard, that's a very small shift key and there there is a key in between. Now this would be a problem for me because when I'm going for shift, I'm probably going to end up hitting this button. Not a big fan of that setup. So you're going to have to think about whether you shift with your right hand or your left hand. If you shift with your right hand, here on the other side, the keyboard is set up very nicely where we have a very large, nice right shift key and nice small arrow buttons here around the side. I have to say that this is the alt jur button as well. So this is a little bit of a different configuration uh, for a QWERTY keyboard here. Anyways, this was just a quick look at the ZenBook Flip 12. Really big fan of this device because it's a little bit budget. Nicole Scott here for Mobile Geeks. What? <laughs>